my one problem, if I had one problem so far with everything we know about Shadow Generations and the things, is you can pre-order the game, which is fine. That's not the problem, by the way. Pre-ordering is fine. I think it's cool that you even get perks and stuff if you want to pre-order it. My only issue is, though, apparently if you pre-order it digitally, and this is going to be such a minor problem for some people just to get the caveat, you can't get Gerald's journal. That's a thing that will only be for physical pre-orders, which kind of makes sense. You physically pre-order the game, they'll be able to physically get you all the stuff that comes with it. I get it. But let me tell you something. I'm kind of really into all of that era, the history and stuff like that. We're literally building the Space Colony Arc on a survival map in Minecraft on a, on a, on a modded server, for Pete's sake. I like a lot of this. I like the physical colony, which, by the way, while we're at it, I got nothing against generations, but like, where is everything? Where, where are the wings at? Where's the Eclipse Cannon at? I thought maybe that was it, but these are all just hanging buildings that are ultimately bordering the thing. Where are the eyes? I should feel terrified right now. The thing should be staring back at me and I should not want to be here. It's such a minute thing. No one cares. Don't get me wrong. These are things no one cares about. This video might be something that very little people care about, but I guess it's just the one thing that if I could have hoped would be different is that if you pre-order it, regardless of what way you pre-order it, you get the journal because I'm I want to know all that lore. Especially because one of the the pages shown in most trailers about the pre-order, on one half we have the arc. It shows the arc clearly, and it, it could be just stuff we already know about the arc. It could be new info about the arc that would be really cool to learn, like maybe how and why Gerald came up with a why with all of his genius. He went mm, space colony instead of say underwater colony, etc., etc. Right. Uh, and then the other half, the left half of the book, always seems to be what looks like the Master Emerald Shrine. Now listen, it might not be considered the Year of Knuckles, but it is Knuckles' 30th anniversary, and that's also our boy. So it is cool to see that. And obviously it's probably related to how the you know core of the arc was built to look like the Master Emerald Shrine, to contain the power of the Chaos Emeralds, etc., etc. So I mean, like, you know, there's things about that that for me personally, I'm like, you know what? That might be like my one issue because I really don't have an issue with anything else they're trying to sell me right now. Black Doom's back, the Bio Lizard's back, the Ark's back in its entirety. Sure, if I want to be real nitpicky, the tip of the Eclipse Cannon looks like it's missing. I mentioned that in the actual Generation of Stages trailer. Someone pushed back on it. They didn't get what I was saying, though. If you look at the tip of the cannon in Sonic Adventure 2, it's a pretty closed off situation at the tip, right? It opens up. While in both Shadow the Hedgehog, if you, you know, play Shadow the Hedgehog the game, you play the level of the arc, you turn around and then you go and look, you can see, oh, wow, that's some speed right there. You see the Eclipse Cannon somewhere in the background. It does look open at the end. In Generation of Trailers or Generation of Stages, the tip does look like, like there's no tip there. Like the pieces are closed. I'm not saying like it's been chopped off missing. It just looks like it's not like, the whole thing Tails brought up and why he had to dunk an emerald in there was it's impervious from outside attack, remember? So it's indestructible from the inside and that looks like a pretty glaring soft spot suddenly in its design, right? Like I, I can nitpick something simple like that or the fact that the Eclipse Cannon looks like it's been rotated about 45 degrees. So instead of opening in an X, it looks like it opens in a cross. Like no one cares. I, I get it. I'm just saying though, like still all the more reason while a journal from the dude that looks like at least has a single page about it would be the one issue I have. It's not even an issue worth, like, knocking the game off. I'm not going to play the game if it's 10 out of 10 be like, but I don't got Gerald's journal that someone's probably going to screen, you know, capture the pages and post them online anyways. So it's, it's, it's minor. But if I make this video and it turns out a lot of people agree and it turns out, you know, uh, like the double cover thing with the cover of the game being able to be an option now, you can get both covers now. Maybe that's something they consider. It's like, hey, if you're going to pre-order it, even digitally, you can still get that journal and it'd be cool i'm just i'm just saying you don't you don't get things you don't ask for as the saying goes so we might as well ask for it but that's gonna be all for this video from me so thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe hit that bell notification the actual subscribe button go watch other people's videos on the coverage i guess of this game before it's come out and the hype for it and stuff too go support other people yeah, that's my one wish. That's my wish. There you go. But I don't know what video will be next. We're just going to have to wait and see. So until this time, take care and enjoy pizza responsibly. Oh, I can't get it. Oh, well. Oh, oh we've fallen again. That's how this works again, huh?